Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Ridgeway World. I'm Jeff. You're not. Today is the blizzard of 2022. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's probably our biggest snowstorm we've had in years. Uh, it's probably the first snowstorm that I've had to use the uh, plow or the tractor to push snow probably in four years, wouldn't you say, hon? Yeah, I think, I think I saw on the news on about 2018 was the last time in Jersey that we had like a like blizzard conditions, I guess. Yeah, I think that was the last time I had a plow on my truck. So, um, so what are you doing? I forgot to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because of the blizzard. You got other things on your mind. And Terry right now is cutting up boiled chicken and uh, rice for, for John uh, and actually for Luna now too because uh, last week we, we were scared to death that John was on his last leg. Um, John had three days of diarrhea every hour on the hour and it was all over the kitchen. This, this whole floor was, was basically pelted. Like with, it had like 30 or I guess probably 30 mud pies of, like that. And it had shit. some consistency, but then after, after that, he was just, it was just pouring out of them and there was blood and I was talking to the vet and I was scared and I, I, didn't know what to do. He wasn't eating. He just was very lethargic and um, I was scared. So they said he probably, he had no parasites. So they said he had probably uh, ate something that, um, you know. Ate something bad. like cat shit, right? I think it could have very well been. Right. So. And because we know John and Luna love cat shit. I think John loves it more than Luna, but. So, yeah, so we were scared to death for Johnny last week. So we were on uh, double duty um, for three nights in a row where either I got up or, or Terry got up. Yeah, because he was going like every two hours. Yeah, it, you know, it was all through the night. So, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a rough time. And, again, we were so worried about the old man. Uh, but he you know. is a specimen, and him just bounced right back, didn't yep. you, Johnny? So Johnny's stools are firm again. As you get older, that's all you worry about is a... Firm stool, right? Yeah. Okay, so did we measure the snow yet? Did you do it while I was out? No, I haven't been outside yet, but um, let me get your ruler. All right. Cause, uh, yeah, because I, I, I did our driveway, did our walks earlier today, and then I had to go over to my parents and uh, push out their snow and also uh, do the walks and stuff. So, but, so where's the ruler you're using? Oh God, the doorway to Gnomeville. You got it? I don't know what happened to my plastic one. You'll have to well, use... Well, if we wipe it off and we're done, we'll be good. All right. Uh, let me make a guess. Eight and a half. Okay, I'll go nine. Oh, see, I was going to say nine. Because six inches is a foot. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go out and measure it. Well, why don't you come out and I'll let the dogs out. Well, I have to finish cutting up the chicken. Do you right. want me to come out? Yeah. And then well, we'll let wait. them out. Because you know how they go crazy and, and stuff. And then we can, uh, and then we'll go out and play. Okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. We're going out to measure. Okay? Eight now and a half. Eight and a half. And okay, you have the honors. measuring it on that table. Yep, you have the honors. Ready? Okay, wait a minute. What? So if I go over, does that mean I lost? Yeah, without... Yeah. If you go over, then if yeah, you lose. If it's eight, I win... You're saying anything nine. closest, anything closest to the thing. Anything closest. You said eight and a half, and I said nine. What does I get? Who, uh, what does the winner get? Ass smack. With the ruler. No, <laughs> the winner okay. doesn't get that. Tuna's antsy to go outside. Look at them; they're crazy. And you're worried about what you're going to get? Huh? I always like that. All right, let's go. Way. Let them. They're going to bull rush you. Come on, puppy. And hopefully the lens don't fog up. Okay. Puppy. All right. So you want the honors, or you want me? No, you will get the honors because I'm holding the camera. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me get the good view right, here. here so you we get... go. All right, where right, do you want me to put right it? Right there in the corner. Wait a minute. Let me get the... Don't I'll knock shit off so you get too. the eight and a half. I, it's... Oh, six and a half. No way in hell. Well, if you go... You... I'll tell you what, right here. This, this plant... Well, try that plant. Did I just know from the snow? The, but that's uh, not fair 
because yeah, that isn't fair. It up. All right. Well, we got to find another spot. Oh, how about the chair? Look. Well, you can try the chair. Yeah, Johnny, get over here. Okay, coming. Oh yeah, that's probably better because that right, catches right in the middle. Right in the middle, yes. Okay. Because a lot of that blew off the top of the. It's sinking. It's sinking. Holy. Eight and a half. You win. Is it really? Yeah, it's eight Yay! and a half. All right, you got to think of something. To give me. Yep. Chocolate nut Sunday. If I can get you chocolate nut Sunday if that's what you want. No, I can get you a root beer float because we have a we have a storage root beer in the bottom of the uh, Lazy Susan. Why don't you make a snow angel because you're always having hot flashes and why don't you do that? I don't know. I'll probably hurt myself. Why? Johnny's going to do one too. Oh my God. John! Oh, Johnny. Johnny Ma move. Mommy's stuck. Johnny! <laughs> oh, that's a very nice one. Isn't that something? I can't even put my... I'm looking right up your nose. Huh? Oh. You need help getting up? I think I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Here, oh up. my goodness. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, you got to use your legs. Let me get up myself. I probably messed it up. But seriously, take it now. <gasps> oh, John. What? Johnny messed up the thing. But yeah, but we, we have a we have a blizzard on the weekend. Now, you know what, what doesn't it piss you off? Because every every time it's like the weekend. I think two weekends ago it poured. The weekend before that it snowed. Uh, plus it's been colder than hell, so you can't get out and do anything. It's like Mother Nature screws you on the weekend. Why don't we have everything during the week and then it'd be sunny and beautiful? Oh, here comes Duna. But yeah, cars are all clean, everything's ready to go. Driveway's done. I didn't screw too much shit up because usually I run into stuff. So what we could do is, since I know everybody's going to be saying, Hey Jeff, why didn't you fix the snowmobiles up for your blizzard? Because I didn't. I didn't have time because the weather sucks. So, and I didn't feel like dragging them in the garage and tying up a spot for that. So I didn't get it done. But everybody will say in the comments, Oh, you should have fixed them up. Now you can see where the snowmobiles are right now. I pushed the shit up on them. But, uh, yeah, the one, the one to the right over here. Well, I know you can't pack this shit. So, both these sleds are Arctic cats. And I never really talked too much about them, but we've had them for years. Uh, this is an 81 Panther. This is an 86 Panther. I can't see, you can't see them. But both of them run good. I think that's a 500cc and I think that's a 440. Um, but what I gotta do is I gotta take the gas tanks, fuel tanks out, all new fuel lines. The carbs, the carbs are still good. I already soaked them down with, uh, yeah, yeah, get on them, hon, ride them. We're going to be out going on the fields. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then after a Remember half hour. back in the day? I don't know if anybody knows anything about Arctic Cat sleds, but we used to have a kitty cat, too. That was the tow behind non-motored cart for a two-seater. And we used to haul the kids around with it. Well, we ended up breaking the windshield one time. So I'm haul assing across the backfields there. And I turn around and both Jesse and JT are seat belted in this little pull behind cart. And they're just, the, the snow is all filled on top of them. You can only see their faces. It's kind of comical. They're probably still pissed at me about that stuff. Like usual. Remember how loud they would be? Yeah. And then, and then you know one. what though? Probably if you got these fixed, it wouldn't snow. Yeah, it probably wouldn't. And then before that, we had 271 Arctic Cat um, Panthers, and they had the rotary engine in them. I think they were a Yankel or something like that they were called. Uh, we had them for years. Terry almost broke her back on once because I was hauling her across the field in inner tube, and she ended up flying out, so we didn't do that again. But yeah, the dogs enjoy this so much. Even old man John, look at him. John, what are you going to do, buddy? You still playing? My socks have fallen off and they're down at my toes. They've fallen off? My, my socks fell down. They're oh, oh, okay. So, and, and, and the weirdest part about this, the sun's popping out now, thank God. But um, by the end of the week, it's supposed to be near 60. So as, as, as much as we do actually love snow and I bitch about, you know, it ruining the weekend, I still like to get it once or twice a year. Just like sex. 
Why? Because it looks like you got sunglasses on. Well, it's you just my glasses turning. Eyes. There, there you can see my eyes. But see, the sun's starting to pop out now, so hopefully it'll melt down a little bit just on the roads and stuff to be safe. And look at the look at the truck. The sad baby. I haven't cleaned that off yet. It's very pretty. Yeah. But either way, it's a nice day here in Pittsgrove Township and uh, you know the dogs have a ball. Terry's socks have fell in down. I don't know what the hell fell in means, but so and you got the ruler stuck there like you got your commando knife stuck in your pant leg. Yeah. <laughs> I never knew one. But that's but that's a day in the life of the Ridgeways out here in the snow. We're trying to have a little fun, enjoy it while it lasts, because this will probably be the the only one we have for a couple years, and uh, and maybe in a couple years I'll have the snowmobiles ready. Uh, my plan is to probably this spring or summer to bring them in, put them up on uh, a lift, and then start working on them and stripping the carbs and uh, draining the tanks and stuff like that, and maybe have them ready for next year. But as Terry said, it probably won't snow. So. Hey. You know what you didn't talk about? What? You know what he's doing? He's doing a 30-day challenge. Ah, uh, you had to bring that up? Yep. He's not drinking any beer for 30 days. This man drank two to three beers every day, every single day, which you might not think that that's bad for you, but alcohol is a inflammatory... Alcohol? Alcohol. Thank you. Is inf inflammatory. His, he was just like one big inflammation inside his body. So... He's doing a 30-day challenge, and he's not having any beer whatsoever. And yes, what, and she... <laughs> yeah, this is, this is day eight. But, day yeah, seven. I'm not one big inflammation. So I went to the doctors. I, I do my yearly uh, with the doctors, blood work, PSA, uh, blood pressure, all that. And he said I was a perfect, a perfect bill of health, I guess you want to call it. Imperfect health. So then when the boys were over, they start no, ragging... no. You know what? What? You're, you don't know what your insides look like. and, I, and Pristine you know, like the outside. All right. So either way, what? So either so way, either way, I shook hands and said I would take a 30-day dry out. So that's what I'm doing. All right? You had to tell everybody that to you. I think it's a good thing that you're doing it. Okay, all when, right. You know, you got to take care of your insides. You can't see what they look like, and you know that that could be a problem. That's why they're inside, so you don't see what's in there. Chronic inflammation causes all sorts of problems, right. especially when you get older. Cancer, all kinds of things. Okay, right. I'm off my horse. Okay. Yeah, I know. You're walking. All right. Either way. Bye-bye, people. Either way, from the Richway House at 08318, you guys have a great day and a good life.